doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I was in Target and I saw new Barbie Cutie Reveal dolls at $24.99. And I kind of also picked up this one. Then I found this one on Amazon. I got the lion, the poodle, and the bear. There is a lamb, but I wasn't able to find it. This is the Cozy Cute Tea series because they come with little t-shirts. However, the t-shirts are not listed as one of the surprises. So I'm hoping it's not sewn on because they will be super cute to use as PJs. There are 10 surprises inside. There is a pet and a hot and cold water element. Out of the Barbie Reveal dolls, Cutie Reveal is totally my favorite because the dolls are posable and we can see which one we're going to get. There's even a little peekaboo cutout on the top. Let's remove the top and reveal our cutie. Here is the lion with stars in its eyes, a pink fluffy mane, little hearts on its cheeks, yellow paws, yellow paw shoes, a yellow fuzzy suit with a purple and blue t-shirt that says hope. The t-shirt is hemmed at the sleeve and at the bottom. What about the neckline? Oh no, it's attached. The shirt is sewn to the fuzzy top. Aw, man. It looks like the shirt is attached at the neckline and sewn at the Velcro. Let's go ahead and check out the doll. There she is. Ooh, she has dimples. It is a little pixelated and shiny. She has blonde hair. It's pretty long, reaching past her waist. I'm seeing some soft turquoise to lavender highlights. She has brown eyes, pretty dramatic eyeshadow, a pink lip with little stars, a fuzzy yellow top with a shirt, and yellow fuzzy pants. Inside the tube, I found instructions and four paper packages. The first one is a lavender headband and pink shoes. Oh, she looks like the box. In the next bag, we have a comb. It's in the shape of a heart and has a sponge on one side. Let's place it on a little ice water, then run it on her hair to change the color. It's turning purple. It turned very purple. Then we can use a little warmth to start to change it back. I don't know why I saw blue before. I think it's just blonde and lavender. In the next bag, we have a little lion pet whose eyes are closed until we add a little cold water to open them. There we go. In our last bag, we have a purple skirt. Her top is reversible and inside we have a little rainbow pattern so we can switch up her look. And she has purple sculpted undergarments underneath. I really want that t-shirt. It would have given us more options to mix and match different looks. Okay, I'm done complaining about the t-shirt. Where was I? The little lion head can be turned around and used as a pet bed. Up next, the poodle. Open the top and reveal the cutie. Oops. Oh, I love her face. She has blue eyeshadow, purple lipstick, and her hair is an icy blue. Usually I lean towards natural hair colors, but lately I've been digging the pastels. However, personally, I wouldn't have minded a more neutral lip color. So here's the poodle look. There is curly sculpted fur around the hands and feet. Her shirt says star and is sewn on. Her jacket has stars on the other side. She has sculpted blue undergarments and four surprise packages. In the first one, we have her comb, her little pet poodle. It does have one point of articulation. The head can turn. And this is 
a pair of blue boots. Oh, they're scrunchy. I would love these in white. There's a matching star headband. In the last bag, we have a skirt with elastic at the waist. So we can make her second look. We can use a little ice to open the dog's eyes and add blue highlights to her hair. Last but not least, the bear. Oh my goodness, cozy cutie, as in cutie. <laughs> Why am I just now getting that? Remove the top and take out the cutie. <laughs> we have a pink bear with hearts in its eyes, love on its shirt, and hearts on its cheeks. Remove the mask. It's the skipper face. She has brown eyes with little hearts in them. I like the dark eye makeup, the soft pink lip color, long pink hair that turns purple with a little icy water. She's adorable. Okay, I am loving the faces this series. They're making me think Hello Kitty. Let's open the surprises. We already know this bag is her comb. And this bag is her pet, which is a pink bear whose eyes can open. Oh, <gasps> I just had an idea. Barbie, cue to reveal Hello Kitty edition. And they come with tiny little Hello Kitty figures. Just throwing that out there. But seriously, I'm interested. In the next bag, we have pearly sneakers and a pearly-ish headband with little beads on it. I think they're hearts. That would be so cute if they were painted. I added a few dots of pink paint to add a little something extra. And the last bag has the skirt, which is a white satin skirt. Her sculpted undergarments are a light pink and her jacket has hearts on the inside. You know, there has to be a way for us to remove the t-shirt. Yeah, I think we can do it. I'm using a seam ripper to cut the stitches at the Velcro. Is that enough to start to remove it? No, they sewed it in on the side. So I have to cut that too. Then it will be possible to remove it. And it's not just sewn into the seam, it's also sewn to the pink fuzzy fabric. So we have to remove those stitches as well. And now I can remove the shirt, but it's also sewn into the collar seam. So do I have to take this completely apart? I'm a little worried that if I do take this apart, I won't be able to put it back together. So I'm just going to go ahead and re-sew the sides, I am hand stitching it using a needle and thread. I'm doing a blind stitch, which is the same stitch I use to close a pillow. And now we have a soft edge. Then repeat on the other side. And now it's just a coat. I think I'm going to leave the Velcro off. Now I'm using my seam ripper to remove the stitches at the neck. This is a little tedious, very time consuming. Is there an easier way to do this? Probably. But this is my journey of discovery and I'm taking you all along for the ride. And we did it. The shirt is now separate from the jacket. Restitch the neckline to have a reversible fuzzy jacket. Without the Velcro, we would have a difficult time making it look like an animal costume but I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna leave it open so the dolls can have a fuzzy, comfy suit. For the t-shirt, I cut off the printed collar, then fold over the edge and iron it down. I sew a single thread back stitch around the neckline. I'm keeping my stitches short and close together to make a wide neckline. Since this shirt is so large, I'm just going to sew the back together with a matching thread. I switched to white 
to make an oversized cropped tee that we can slide over the doll's head to make a comfy tee for the dolls. And now those fuzzy pants can be super comfy pajama pants. And I always use the oversized paws as house shoes. Let's take a skirt and turn it inside out. Lay it so the seam is on the side. Make a mark a half an inch from the bottom. Then sketch a J shape all the way to the top. Sew along the line. Repeat on the other side. Trim the excess fabric and cut off the ends being careful not to cut the thread. At the bottom, find the center and pull them apart. Then line up those cut edges and sew a line going across. I used a straight stitch and went over it a couple of times. Flip it inside out to make pajama shorts to go perfectly with the oversized crop tees. Satin shorts and a comfy tee? Perfect PJs. Now let's give these girls a little more articulation. I mean, they are poseable. They can move at the head, shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. But I need made to move. Let's see if these two are a match. I'm going to try this curvy made to move doll for the teddy bear and the yellow top for the poodle. Place the dolls in a plastic bag then into hot water. Warning, color change will last longer if you do not expose this toy to intense heat or direct sunlight for prolonged periods of time. Yeah, so beware. Until the head softens and we can remove it. Oh, come on, come on, there we go, we got it. Place it onto the new body. Give the hair a little hot water rinse. The curvy body is a little off, so I'm going with this one. It's still not perfect, but I feel it's a little closer. And now our Barbie Cutie Reveal dolls from the Cozy Cute Tea series are made to move. These are totally my Hello Kitty girls. Love them. It looks like they are totally ready for a slumber party with their cozy t-shirts that are no longer attached to the jackets. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at some new Barbie Cutie Reveal dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuffthefrogvlog and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.